Hi guys, working on these gravity powered cars again. A couple of days ago I actually made them and showed that their performance was virtually identical. Yesterday I improved the performance of this one first by changing the pulley on the top of the tower and that made this one significantly better than that one. Then I put a decent pulley on the top of the that one, the cardboard one, and that one became slightly faster than this one. So we've now improved the performance of both cars. The next thing I'm going to do is look at the friction on the axles and see if I can improve that. At the moment, the axles, which are barbecue skewers, go through these drinking straws. So potentially there's friction all the way along that drinking straw where the axle rubs against it. And what I'm going to do is get rid of that. And I'm going to use this milk carton for the chassis. I'm going to still use the same tower, the same lead weight, the same axles, the same wheels, but I'm going to drill holes through here, front and back, for the axles to go through, and that should reduce the amount of friction significantly, because the only surface in contact with the axles will be the thickness of this plastic. So that should be significantly less friction, and the way to find out will be to try it. There's the new car, so it's the original wheels, original axles, original tower, pulley, so we need to go and do a test run now, see how that compares to the other car. Let's see if we've managed to make an improvement. That's good. I'll just try them opposite sides in case there's any difference with my floor. I've swapped the weights over to see if that makes a difference. Looks like the milk bottle is still fastest. So that's good. Okay, summary time. What I've tried to do this time is reduce the friction on the axles, on the bearings. And to do that, I've got rid of the drinking straws that are on the bottom of this one. And now I'm just, just using a plastic milk carton and the idea being that the bearing surfaces are just the thickness of the plastic carton so according to my theory that should be a smaller bearing surface so there's less friction there would be a counter argument that there's more pressure on a smaller area so you might be increasing the potential friction so you'd have to do the maths on that if you wanted to get a definitive answer. But certainly it seemed to work for me anyway. So this car is all the components from the previous car, which was made from plastic packaging. But I've done away with the chassis and replaced it just with this milk carton. The wheels are the same. 
the axles are the same, the tower is the same, the pulley is the same, the weight's the same. So any improvement is down to the change in the chassis. So there we go. I can't think of anything else that I can change other than smaller wheels or increasing the size of the axle by padding it out a bit. Um, and I know that if I pad the axle out it will accelerate faster. But we're then into will it go the same distance and being as it already goes the full distance of my kitchen I can't really prove any distance improvement. So all I can say is reducing the friction on the axle gives the car a better performance.